Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. What you're looking at is the final assembly area of Cessna's plant in Independence, Kansas. Those are Mustang jets and Cessna never really planned for them to be here because over my shoulder is this, the entire line of Cessna singles mixed in with the jets. Here's Cessna's Terry Clark to explain how that happened. The, uh, the Independence facility was originally uh, constructed to build only the single engine products, the 172, the 182, and the 206. It, around the 2001-2002 time frame, we looked at uh, leaning out the operation, removing inventory, looking at a different way to assemble the airplanes. And as a result, we freed up over 50,000 square feet of floor space that then we could use as a, uh, as a, uh, uh, a tool to help us get other work here. And in this case, the Mustang Jet was the, the work that we proposed being uh, built at Independence. And uh, uh, right now, today, we have unit number 371 ready to go out the door of the assembly building. In consolidating the, the production lines for the 172, 182, and 206, we, we took out a lot of inventory. In fact, uh, what used to be uh, the work that consumed a, a building that's over a quarter million square feet in space, we now do the same amount of work in about uh, 40,000 square feet of space. And we did that through uh, involving our team members, the flexibility of the workforce is required in consolidating production lines because now a team member doesn't just work on a 172 or a 206, they have to learn to work on all models. So one of the things that I'm uh, very proud about uh, with the Independence Workforce is their flexibility. And that's why we're able to get more work, new work, like the Mustang Jet and other new models uh, of aircraft that we uh, hope to build here. One of the things we, we took a look at was uh, inventory and where we installed things like engines and avionics. In the early days of the, uh, the single engine production at Independence, we installed the engine, we installed the propeller very early in the, uh, the assembly process. Of course, with the prop now in the way, it made it uh, less safe. With the prop in the way, it made it more difficult to produce a high-quality paint job, so we looked at installing the, the prop at the very l latest in the assembly process that we possibly could, which is right before weight and balance, right before we fly the airplane. So now, not only propellers, also engines and avionics are all installed very late in the assembly process, uh, giving us the advantage of uh, having less sleeping inventory and reducing our inventory cost. Most recently, we uh, applied the same principle to the Mustang jet, and now the engines for the jet are also installed in flight, reducing millions of dollars in inventory cost. Flight operations uh, are, are conducted now out of our new flight building, made possible by bringing the Mustang jet to independence. And uh, one of the, the, the primary goals of flight operations and managing cost is to accomplish the, the flight test in a single flight. Uh, that means that we do functional testing like uh, 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 fueling, fueling of the uh, airplane wing right after the wing's assembled before it's uh, even joined to the airplane. Doing things like that, getting our functional test done very early in the assembly process. So when the airplane is at its most expensive point, right when it's ready to fly, we, we don't uh, have uh, a large number of days of what we would call sleeping assets waiting to be worked on or reworked. Uh, we do have several first flight sell-offs of, all the, fl of the, all the airplanes we produce at Independence, the Mustang, the 172s, 82s, and 206s. Uh, it's not uncommon to sell off a, a production flight test in a single flight. And that's a pretty extensive uh, uh, flight test regimen. The flight test specification can be up to uh, uh, you know, several pages long. And in, in the example of a very simple 172, may take up to an hour and a half or two hours of flight time doing a large number of tests to make sure that it's uh, ready to be airworthy and uh, delivered to our customers. For more on how Cessna builds airplanes, log on to avweb.com and click on the podcast button or take a look at our blog section. I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.